so in this question you will be given an object for example uh, a b c and inside c you you will have a p o and inside o you will have a l and q is an array with values 1 and 2 so this is a kind of deeply nested object where uh, one object uh, is uh, nested inside another object and and the uh, iteration goes uh, so on so isme kya karna hai what you have to do is you have to create a function such that it would flatten this particular object flatten ka kya sense hai that if if this uh, particular uh, value right if this particular key which is a is not an object then you have to print it directly for example uh, the output should be something like uh, a right a with the value of 12 and then since you have p uh, on the same level so b would also be the value of 23 now given that c is an object so c may what you have to do is c dot p May it would come c dot p may it would come 23 right and c dot uh, o may c dot o it would be uh, again an object so c dot o dot l uh, would be what 56 and this but this particular part this is an array so is me agarna is the value should be c dot q dot zero should be one and c dot q dot one should be two so is me kya kiya we put we have taken the index of this particular array and considered that as a key and have appended that over here so c dot q dot zero would be one and one would be two so this is how we flatten a uh, uh, the object so this may what we did is key jaise jaise agar object milta jata hai to we start appending the key uh, to the previous parent or jaise hi we get a value so we directly uh, stop that appending right there and we assign a value to that particular uh, key chain we just formed so we'll use a recursive uh, calls as well to solve this question and i hope you are clear with the question now let's uh, write uh, the code so I have created a function which is called flatten object and in this flatten object I have passed the object which is this whole object in the uh, question and the parent. So initially we don't have a parent. Parent mein kya matlab hota hai? Parent is the key of the uh, object. So initially we don't have a key. So I passed empty and suppose for a particular iteration or uh, the parent can be b the parent can be a the parent can be c depending upon which iteration we are but since we are starting from the very beginning so we don't have any key so this is an empty string going over here now um kya karna hai? that first of all i'll create a, a empty uh, object that would contain our whole values so const a uh, final object also empty Ye, uh, this object would contain the final output of our computations okay now kya karna hai ki? okay so we'll have to use recursive calls so uske liye, uh, i'll create a one more function that is to uh, generate generate a flat objects or this would also take obj object parent yeah this may uh, we'll see what we'll do but usse pehle ye function call kar lete hai. generate flat objects and this may we pass the object we pass the parent okay and we will return our final object okay so, itta kaam karna hai. Now, the main thing is over here that is to generate flat objects. Mein karna kya hai. So, first of all, what I'll do is first of all, I'll get the um, what we call that um, a new parent. Uh, before that, I think we have to do a for loop for let e obj. Okay, we start iterating over objects 
over this object we start iterating over this particular object key is basically the values a b c p o q and uh, all the values so let key in object means we are iterating through every key in the particular object and once we have the key so there are chances that uh since it is recursive call so pehle se koi parent aa raha hoga right you might be receiving a parent beforehand and for example if you are you know in this particular object okay and you are doing a for let key in object so you are iterating over p o and q so the parent in this case would be c okay so yahan pe c aa raha hoga for every key which is every p o q you are iterating so the new key that must be formed should be parent plus key right it should be c dot p and then followed by any particular value so we have a new parent const uh, new parent equals to uh, parent plus e okay this is a new parent and we have a new object also because <coughs> if given that uh if you are in uh, you are you know iterating over this object and you are uh, running it for p so obj of p is 23 and obj of o is an object right so given that if uh, the value is an object then you have to make a recursive call again and if the value is not a object then you just have to directly append the value to the new parent which you have just formed okay so i'll call it const value as obj obj of key theek okay. hai it this value can be a value itself like a string or a integer or it can be an object or an array okay so what i'll do is i'll make a small check if type of a uh, type of value is equals to it okay if the type of value is object then generate that objects again this time the new object should be value this new object should be value for example this this is a value right obj of obj of key is the value so i pass the value and the parent this time it should be new parent but since we know that we will get new value also afterwards so i need to append a dot as well fine so why have i written new parent dot uh, plus dot because see when you are running this loop for this particular object and you come to c you find that this c is an object so initially parent mein parent mein kya tha parent mein humne we have passed empty string so yahan parent pe empty string hai the key is c okay so empty string plus c becomes c and when i uh, come to this particular line i pass the value pass this whole object as a value over here in this object and the new parent becomes c plus dot so yahan pe c dot c plus c dot ho gaya right and the moment i come to this uh, object now so c dot pehle se parent mein aa raha tha it was coming as a uh, coming from the parent c dot and when i come to this ob object so c dot was over here right and uh, the key was o so it became c dot o okay c dot o ye ban gaya idhar pass ho gaya c dot o and then since c uh, since this o is also an object so dot uh, is also getting appended at the very end so it becomes uh, c dot o dot okay so this is what it becomes now so this is uh, the part where we call the recursive uh, call and if it is not an object then it, it is very simple and call final object final object mein the new parent up till now should become the value okay and yeah i think this is uh, it pretty much go oh, run karke dekh lete hain node final object so we have a as 12 b as 23 c dot p as 23 fine c c dot o dot l as 56 c 
इंडेक्स okay this key becomes the index so the uh, when we are at this particular iteration in the queue then c dot uh, q dot was coming as a parent and the key is 0 and 1 for each for each for loop okay so this is why it, it was working over here and uh, this is the pretty much uh, overall solution that we have to flatten a deeply nested object and if you are having any doubts or queries then do let me know in the comments i'll try to answer them as soon as possible and also if you have not subscribed to the channel then do uh, hit the subscribe button and please share this channel among your friends and peers so this was all in this video uh, see you in the next one.